Hello everyone and welcome to another how-to on automations. In this video, we'll set up an automation that monitors a folder for incoming data, runs a workspace whenever appropriate data arrives, and notifies a responsible party when a job runs. This trigger action external action combo is the basic template in which you can automate any number of complex data workflows. Now let's hop into FME to see how this is done. This tutorial was made by Keith Sorensen. To get started, we'll set up a resource folder on FME server for both the input and output data sets. In practice, FME server can monitor any network directory that it has access to or several other third-party cloud storage services. For now, we'll use the FME server web interface to create a data folder that has subfolders for input data and output data. Now we'll start building our automation. The trigger should be configured as a directory watch of the input folder we just created. Since our workspace won't run without input data, be sure to unselect delete under events to watch for. Change the poll interval to one per minute for frequent verification. Validate and move on. For this example, I'm watching for Excel files. So I'll configure my first action downstream of the trigger as a filter looking for .xls in the triggering file path. For testing, I've uploaded a workspace that checks for empty fields or unexpected values in an input spreadsheet. Feel free to add any data validation or transformation logic you'd like to your workspace. Back on the automations canvas, I can add a run workspace action downstream of the past port of my filter. I'll point it at the test workspace, look in the upstream messages for the file path that triggered the automation, and supply that to the publish parameter of the workspace that asks for input.xls. This automation can be saved and run right now, and quietly chug along in the background. However, let's imagine that it's critical that the results of this job be brought to someone's attention right away. We'll configure a send email external action downstream of the run workspace. To send an email from FME server, you'll need to take advantage of the SMTP protocol to send through an external email account. Details are available through the link on the screen and in the description box. Now that we've specified how the email will be sent, we'll need to decide what will be in the email subject, body, and what we want to attach. Here's one I composed with some dynamic content from the automation. When I save the automation for the first time, I can add descriptive tags to it for easier filtering once I've made several. After I've saved, I can run and test the automation. While the automation is running, I'll navigate to the data input folder it watches and upload tree underscore records dot xlsx. After awaiting the interval I specified in the directory watch trigger, I can go to manage my automation and view the job it triggered. When I check my email, here I see the message already. And that's it for this second video on automations. If you haven't seen the first video on automations, you can check that in the description box below. In the next video on automations, we'll be showing you an even more advanced automation that could include details from the workspace itself using an automations writer. Be sure to check this article right here for more examples of triggers and workflows, which will also be in the description box below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.